hello this is future me just coming in to say i apologize for the vlog that's coming up and you it will make sense to you why i say that once you watch the vlog so with that said hope you enjoy the vlog <laughs> four years ago when you were out in the snow no 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 he likes it he's back in his natural habitat well he's not the Norwegian forest he's Persian chinchilla why are you talking this way Say hi to my snowman. Come, let's go say hello. What do you think? What do you think? Wait, I want to take a picture of this. Wait, say hi. Hermes. Hermes. He's so pretty. He's adorable. <gasps> Look Where at do you. you think you're going? Look Stop at it. you, intrepid explorer. Good boy. Sorry, I just really wanted to do that. Good morning, my lovelies. It has been almost a week <laughs> since I filmed. I've been down with a bad cold. Both my girls have been off sick as well, and I want to put you down, of course. And um, yeah, both my girls have been off sick. Oh, the sun, sorry. Is that better? I hope that's better. I'll just close the curtains. Yeah, so as you will know, we did have snow, and as you will have seen at the beginning of this video, we did take Hermes out into the snow. He had an absolute blast. He, uh, he loved it. He's so cute in the snow. So I had to include that footage. And we put up our tree, which I had no input in the tree this year at all. I was not allowed to say a word and the girls did it. I feel like it needs quite a few more decorations. The girls have gone really minimalist, like there's just, just not enough decorations on the tree. But I just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I kind of feel like I want to put up a few more decorations to sneak them onto the tree when they're not around. But they would notice and it's their tree so that's that's the tree as you will have seen i think it needs more let me know in the comments below what you think i think that it needs about 50 percent more decorations but we are leaving it i'd love to know what you think though but that is that's been kind of just bringing you up to date i just had to include that footage i hope that that's okay especially hermes in the snow because it was just so cute it just warms my heart seeing him in the snow it's so cute but my throat is still sore it feels like sandpaper in my throat so if you can hear my voice slightly different then I'm sorry but that's why I haven't really felt like I could come onto camera at all this whole week today is the first day where I feel I can talk but already I can feel my throat going my voice is going but um, yeah, we are about a week away from Christmas and I feel like I, I don't know, I feel like I've let you down with Vlogmas. Although I had no expectations because I didn't plan on doing Vlogmas, it was a really, really last minute thing. Like I literally picked up the camera on the 1st of December and thought, okay, I'll do Vlogmas. I've had enough messages about Vlogmas. But I feel like I've let you down because Vlogmas this year has been, well... I think it's been really boring so you know if you're here and watching i love you thank you so much for watching but i feel like it's been really boring and i really i want to apologize for that because i didn't do half the things that i thought i was going to do and even the things that i had booked all of this week <clears throat> i had to cancel because i wasn't feeling well even tomorrow night we were supposed to be going to annabelle's for dinner for a friend's birthday and that's been cancelled not from me I didn't cancel it I would have gone even if just for a short while I was going to just go for a little bit but it's been cancelled for some other reasons so even that's not happening so I don't really I know I feel I don't know 
I feel like I want to apologize and say I'm sorry even though we had no expectations right like you had no expectations for vlogmas I had no expectations for vlogmas it's been nice doing two videos a week which I'll continue till Christmas which is only ten days away nine days away I think and yeah I hope you'll stay with me and maybe next year <coughs> excuse me Maybe next year we will continue with two videos a week and let me know what you think about that. Again, comment below. Should I continue with two vlogs a week next year or maybe one vlog and one different video? Anyway, you don't need to, you don't need to hear the inner workings of my mind. Although, why not? We share a lot here. So yeah, maybe we do. Maybe you do need to hear the inner workings of my mind. Oh, by the way, I'm very naughty. I cut my own hair. I don't know if you can tell, but it is slightly shorter at the bottom, but I was getting really fed up with the dead ends, which I've been saying, and I wasn't feeling well enough to even think about booking a hair appointment. So I just, um, I used a TikTok hack <laughs> and I cut just about maybe half an inch off the bottom of my hair. And it, I'm so glad I did because it's just looking so much healthier. The dead ends are not there. Like it just doesn't look so dry and dead at the bottom. I even cut a tiny bit, you can't really tell, but I cut a tiny bit off the very, very front of my hair as well. Again, using another TikTok hack. I don't really do TikTok, but some of these hacks, you know, they're quite good. I am hoping to get to the postal sorting office at some point today because, oh, sorry, because I feel that there's some packages there. I've had an email from one brand to say that my package is sitting there waiting for collection so I'm hoping that before we go to pick up my kids from school it's their last day of term today they're ending really late as I think I mentioned in my previous vlog but I'm hoping to go and pick up some packages but there's a couple of packages that arrived today not by Royal Mail by other couriers so I thought that I would open those up with you now one of them is it quite exciting because it is something that I did on brand backer like I don't know if you know about brand backer it's when you know like a startup or someone is trying to create something and they need funding so they go onto brand backer and you kind of pledge towards the development and production of something and I've done it a few times where I think that something is really fun or deserving or whatever and then I forget about it and these things take like months we're talking about I can't remember when I did a brand backer on this one, maybe like six, eight, nine months ago, probably nine months ago. Completely forgot about it because, you know, the thing for me is just to support it. So I've done that, but something has arrived. So I'm very excited to go and open it up. Of course, we have Hercules sleeping on the bed. Do you not want to look at us? No? Okay. So first up is this. This is the one from brand backer. I'm sorry it's not too bright in here but I didn't want to put on any artificial light so hopefully you can see what we're doing this was I think this was a phone case a really clever phone case I think I can't remember because there were two or three things that I brand backed that's even a oh wow loads more than I thought what I don't even I don't even remember exactly what it was. I knew it was a phone case, but it's way more than that. Look, we have a, what's this? A Snap Grip Creator Kit. I'm going to get these on my phone. Ooh. I have a neck strap. It's all for my phone, but I don't film on my phone. So that's really... We have a tripod and a selfie stick. And last but not least, we have a snap shoe. I'm not really sure about this, but... Anyway, this is very exciting because this is what they have developed. I think I will open them all up, take them out of their boxes, work out how they work and what they do, and then I will show you because it's something very different, isn't it? I haven't seen anything like that before. That's why I kind of brand backed it because I thought it was quite interesting. But we also have this box as well. So I'm gonna open that one up with you. I think I know what that is, but let's open it up. And hopefully there'll be some other parcels as well when we get to the post office which I don't know if it's going to happen today but hopefully oh I think I know what this is so we have a little Christmas gift here from my favorite collagen this is from rejuvenated and it's the radiant 
Hello, Hercules. Their Radiant Skin Collection. So we have the collagen shots, which you've seen me talk about so many times, and these two. We have the H3O Hydration and the H3O Night Repair. And I swear by these three to keep my skin looking young and fresh and plump and perfect. And as you can see, it's all in their new packaging. So pretty. It looks so nice when you have it downstairs in your kitchen, which is where I keep mine. They're just all so beautifully kind of colour graded. I love them. So that is what we have so far. As I say, I'm going to go to the post office later, hopefully if my husband has time to take me and see if there's anything else there. We've been doing all our Christmas shopping online for the longest time, like I can't remember how many years. But this year we're having to be really careful where we buy from because of the Royal Mail strikes, also because we've got the problem with Royal Mail um, not delivering to our house. I'm literally having to buy only from places that are using other couriers like DHL or DPD or Hermes or whatever. And it's, it's, been, it's been interesting because there are quite a few things that we wanted to get for the kids that only deliver by Royal Mail. Well, what do you do? So I think we might have to do a day in town shopping and go and get the things physically ourselves because we, you know, um, we can't rely on having it delivered in time last year actually take you off the tripod last year we had quite a few things that didn't come in time for Christmas and there was a little bit of disappointment I, I mean I've said to the kids are getting a lot less this year and just be grateful for anything and everything the fact that they get even one present this year is um yeah should be grateful for it <laughs> so hopefully they are taking that on board I'm just looking at my daughter's little snowman downstairs in the garden gorgeous he's still up there on the table I think I need to go and have a coffee I have had one coffee this morning but I feel like I need to have my second coffee the thing is every time I have a coffee I have to take my Invisalign out which is oh we're nearly at the end of the Invisalign let me update you on Invisalign so as you know, I was supposed to have finished my Invisalign on the 4th of November. I went in on the 4th of November and I said I felt it needed more. So he told me to uh, wear those trays for another month. Sorry if this is boring, if I've already told you before and if you remember, but you might not remember. So I thought I would just update you on that. So I went in after a month and I said, no, I think I still need some movement here. And I think he agreed actually, because he measured the overbite and he agreed. So he ordered, uh, I don't know how many trays. I think it might be a couple more trays, which would be another month, or it might be a little bit longer, I don't know. But I'm heading in there on Monday to go and get the new trays. So we're coming to the end of the Invisalign journey, but it's taking a lot longer than I had initially thought because, yeah, they're supposed to have finished on the 4th of November. I think we're gonna be way into January by the time it finishes, which is interesting because my daughter has just started her braces journey. She's not using Invisalign. She's using, I think it's Spark. It's the same thing. It's just a different brand. She's gonna be done in 20 weeks-ish. Oh my God. There's a mad cat that's just skittered across our grass. I say skittered because it's covered in snow. Absolutely crazy mad anyway yes yeah, so my daughter she has started her braces and yeah apparently it's a 20 week program for her she's going to be done in 20 weeks there might be a little bit of addition at the end we'll see because you never know how the teeth are going to move you kind of they plot it out it's all done on computer but you know real life is sometimes slightly different but you know, the plan is a 20 weeks, whereas mine was 70 weeks. And I didn't think my teeth were so bad when I started, but I think we just, he took the slow and steady approach because I wasn't in any rush. Whereas, you know, a teenager is in a little bit more rush to see the results, I guess. Anyway, coffee now. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that my husband finishes his work calls in time to take me to the sorting office. I don't really want to drive in this icy snow. So bless him, he has done every single school pick and drop off since the snow fell. I haven't been out the house. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't feeling well either, as I told you. But even if I had been feeling well, 
I didn't really want to drive on the ice. It's like an ice rink outside my house. Once we get onto the main roads, it's fine. But my, where I live and where my house is situated, it is literally an ice rink. And even though we have a four wheel drive and he keeps telling me our car is absolutely fine. I just, I just don't want to do it unless I have to do it. And um, yeah, bless him. He's been organizing his work calls around the school picks and drops. I'm a very lucky girl. So these are peanut butter cookies and these are the Nutella cookies. Go on, open one up. Go on, just break it in half. Did you just come out the oven wrong? Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's not going to be the most of the brand I could. I just took one. Just break it. It's hot. I know. For us, if we Other way. Mark, <laughs> I'm trying. We <laughs> oh, we oh they the look so wall. good. Oh. So I just opened up my camera to start a new vlog today and I just realised that I didn't really finish up this vlog. I didn't kind of end it and say bye and all of that kind of stuff. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it in spite of kind of the non-event that it was and I will see you in the next vlog. I cannot believe that it's only six days to Christmas now when I'm filming this. I'm just about to start a new vlog because we're just heading to an appointment so I'll see you in the next vlog and I hope you have a lovely week. Bye!